Are you dreaming of coming into Canada? Discover the easiest pathway to come into Canada under this very program I'm going to be talking to you about. If you're curious to know what this program is about, then please keep watching and make sure you watch to the very end because I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this program. It's easy, it is fast, and it is good for family. Stay tuned. Like I said earlier, this program is the easiest way to come into Canada and it's also very free. I mean it's very free as in free at no cost to you. You do not spend money coming into Canada. Everything is solely borne by your employers. Now, one of the things I wanted to know about this program that is that there is no IELTS, there is no LMIA involved, there is no proof of funds involved, there is no age limit. Anyone can come in with this program, guys. And there is settlement services provided for you by your employers. Guys, this is interesting, this is juicy, and this is something you should look into. If I saw this opportunity before coming into Canada, I wouldn't have spent the millions of Naira that we spent coming into Canada through the route we came in with. Now, the program is called the New Brunswick Critical Lead Worker Program. Now, this program is launched by the province of New Brunswick. It was launched in November 2022. It's not so new, but a lot of people don't know about it. Now, New Brunswick is one of the four Atlantic provinces in Canada. Its official languages are English and French. It means that they speak both English and French in the community or in the province. Now, New Brunswick has really low population at this very present moment. They have few people in New Brunswick, hence the need for this program. This is one of the reasons why the province or the government of Canada brought out this program to help enhance the number of people who are attracted to this particular province. Okay, and from the name of this um, particular program, you can understand that the issue is critical. It's called New Brunswick Critical Labor Program. New Brunswick critical worker program okay it shows that it is a critical moment for the province the country is looking for the government of canada is looking for more people to come into that province and also build a province okay so this is your chance to look at this province it is a five-year pilot program meaning that if you get a work permit for this program or if you get a job with this program you will be getting a five-year work permit that will allow you to come into canada and work for five years guys if you are able to come into canada and work for one year you qualify under the Canadian Ex um, Canadian Experience class and you can apply for permanent residence. Your family can also apply for permanent residence. This is a very good route. You know, your wife, your spouse can also get this, an open work permit. Your children will get the study permits. Under this program, the government of Canada has selected six employers you know, to be able to recruit foreign workers from outside Canada. I'm going to be listing out the six employers from you in no particular order. Okay, the first one is Cook Aquaculture. Cook Aquaculture is known for marine farming, marine farming seafood products. That is what they are known for and they are very popular in the whole of North America. Their products are really, really popular. This is one of the companies that the government of Canada has selected under this program to, to recruit foreign workers into Canada. If you have watched this video to this very point and you are finding value, I want you to give this video a thumbs up. Click on the like button. It tells me that I'm doing something good and it also helps you to show this video to much more people who might need this video, who need this information to land their dream jobs in Canada. Okay? You can also engage on my content. Drop something, drop a suggestion, drop a comment. And if there's something I have not mentioned, there's something I'm missing out and you know about it, you can also drop it in the comment section so that other people can learn from it. The second company is JD Ivan. JD Ivan is into agriculture, construction, logistics, and transportation, retail and distribution. You know, this is what they are into. This is a very big company. This company was established in 1882, so it's very vast. These are not small companies. These are companies that have precedence. These are companies that have long standing. These are companies that are competent. The government has looked at all the companies in New Brunswick and has selected just the six. So be, be assured that these companies are well able to offer you settlement services when you get a job with them. The top company is Group Savoy. Group Savoy is into hardwood products. They're into hardwood components. Anything that has to do with timber, woods, you know, that is what they major into. They're it's also a very big company. The fourth company is Group Wesco. Group Wesco is into poultry farming, anything that has to do with chicken, livestock, turkey, eggs, you know, meat. That is all they specialize in. This is also a very big company and it's one of the companies that has been, you know, selected by the government of Canada to recruit foreign workers. 
The fifth company is Imperial Manufacturing Group. Now, Imperial Manufacturing Group is into metal and plastic heating, they are into air conditioning, they are into ventilation, they are into um, construction. This is also one of the companies that has been selected by the government of Canada to recruit foreign workers. The company is big, the company is vast. They are strong and competent. The last company is McCain Foods. McCain Foods is into French fries, anything that has to do with potato specialty, fresh potatoes, frozen potatoes, anything that has to do with potatoes. They are, they are big on it. They are also very known and very vast in the whole of North America. The purpose of this program is majorly to attract foreign workers into the province of New Brunswick. Like I told you earlier, the province is lacking workers. They are lacking people to work for them. So they want to attract people into New Brunswick and also build their economy or their, their province. The second thing is that you're going to be getting a work permit for five years to come into Canada and work. And by one year after working for this employer, you can apply for permanent residence. The third purpose is that it is an easy way to get your permanent residence with your family. Easy way. And then you are not spending any money while at it. Now let's talk about the benefits of this program. One of the benefits that is attractive about this program is that the employer is responsible for your relocation costs from your home country into Canada. Anything that has to do your flight ticket, your visa fees, your cost of transportation while you're in Canada, schooling, accommodation, everything, even settlement services will be provided to you by your employer. Guys, this is interesting. This is one benefit you stand to gain if you decide to look at this program and come in from, from this and come in with this program. The second benefit is that the employer will be providing you with language test. So if you come into the province and you, are, you want to learn French, okay, they will provide a language service for French for you at no cost to you. And if it is English that you want to learn, you want to be good at, they will provide a language service for English at no cost to you. The third benefit you get from this program is training, on the job training. Now, the company will be providing on the job training for you while the job. They understand that you are a foreigner and you are not used to the people, the lifestyle, the environment in Canada. So they'll be providing you with vast training so that when you get into Canada or get start the role, you are good. You are able to acclimatize easily to the standards and the procedures of the company. The fourth benefit about this program I love is that your whole family can come with you, your immediate family, your spouse, your children, okay? And your spouse can get an open work permit while your children get study permits, depending on their age, okay? If they are young children, they will have daycare, um, access to daycare and all of that, you know, and the employer is responsible for the whole cost. The fifth benefit, the one I love the most is education support, guys. The, if you as the applicant wants to further your education while you're in Canada, working with them, they can also provide you with education support, finances, financial aid to school in Canada. Maybe you want to do your master's, maybe you want to further your degree, an MBA or something they provide you educational support, okay, financially, to go through school while you're working with your employer. Now, lastly, let's talk about how you can apply. How do you apply? The first thing you want to do is prepare a resume or a CV, curriculum vitae, as the case may be. Now, you want to prepare a resume that fits the Canadian style. Please note that the Canadian style resume is different from other countries' resume. We have a particular style of resume we use while in Canada. So you want to make sure that your resume fits or conforms to the standard of Canada, okay? So after that, you want to prepare a cover letter. Make sure that the cover letter carries your experiences, your achievements, all you have achieved in a similar role. You want to outline them, you know, make sure that you are doing submitting your resume, your resume with a cover letter. This is because most candidates who apply for jobs do not attach a cover letter. So you want to distinguish yourself from the pack. You want to show the recruiter that you know what you are doing. You want to show the recruiter that you are different, you are, you know, unique. You know what you are doing and you have the skills or the requirements that is that is that is needed for the role you know so you are going to state these things in the cover letter and you submit the, the submit it with your resume the second thing you want to do is to go to the company's website most of these companies have websites and they have a career interface in their website so you want to go to their website and check out the roles that are available at the present moment and then see if the role that is available matches your present experience or your past experience you know and you apply for those roles remember you are submitting those you're submitting your resume with your cover letter while applying for this job the top thing you want to do is to go to linkedin most big companies have profiles on linkedin most times the hr manager is the person who handles their profile on linkedin so you want to go there because sometimes they also they also put up their job applications or job job openings on LinkedIn. So you want to go to LinkedIn and check it out. And if you see any job you are, you are interested in, you want to apply to them. You can also send the HR manager in messages telling them how that you are interested in working for them and the things you have or the 
experiences you have that fit that you think matches the roles they have in their company these are the ways to apply for this role in a minute i'm going to be showing you how you can apply using one particular company called aquaculture let's use aquaculture so that i can show you how you can apply on their website okay so just watch this i'm going to show you my screen right now so when you get to google we'll type cook aquaculture aquaculture careers I just type careers at once so that it takes me straight to the career sites. I don't want to waste time. So now you see the first um, link you find, you click on it, careers. When you click on careers, it shows you this is the career interface straight up, no need of wasting time. So it shows you welcome to the family and then it shows you different careers they have available. So they have careers careers in atlantic canada and maine careers in information technology careers in scotland careers in spain so we are interested in careers in atlantic canada and maine so we're going to view opportunities and then it will bring out all the job openings they have in atlantic region which is the new brunswick region okay so you can view all so it brings out more options for you so you can see they have a lot of openings okay so let's just take an example let's just use one you know for let's just say we want to apply for project manager job role i'm just going to do an example for you so you'll find the details of the job the role the responsibilities what you'll be doing on the job okay and then you'll find apply right here so you click on apply and then it takes you to this part where you have to fill in your name your email address your phone number and you click on continue so you just go ahead like that until you get to the end of the form and then you click on submit after attaching your resume and your cover letter so guys that is how to apply for this job so you can do the same thing for each of the other companies i mentioned if you're looking for other ways to come into canada i've also done a video here i'll link it up here or the next video you see telling you how you can get recruiters who are hiring foreign workers into Canada. Watch this video next. Time.